Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Schnorr signatures and why they are important. Um, so uh, Schnorr signatures are something that uh, have been around a while. In fact, uh, I think it may even predate ECDSA, which is what's used currently in Bitcoin. Um, it was under patent for a long time, so for that reason, uh, um, you know, ECDSA had to be developed in order to get around that patent. Uh, otherwise, it's uh, possible that Satoshi would have chosen Schnorr signatures for Bitcoin um, had it not been on their patent. This is one of the reasons why I really don't like patent and copyright laws. They're, they're mostly done in a way to, uh, uh, you know, prevent innovation from happening. Anyway, uh, the interesting thing about Schnorr and the reason why Schnorr um, is something that a lot of core devs are looking at is, uh, is that it allows um, for certain sorts of aggregation. Right now, if you have a multi-sig uh, address, so you have like two of three, two of these three public keys have to uh, sign before that those funds can be released to another person. So you, you can have a lockbox. Bitco does this, for example, where you have like, um, you know, two of three um, and, you know, two people have to sign in order to release the funds. It's, there's no single point of failure there. You have to have at least two of the three um, and it could be much larger. It could be five of seven. It could be five of nine, whatever. Um, the nice, uh, the, the kind of bad thing about that is that each public key has to sign, right? And those signatures have to be completely independent. So um, when it's a two of three, you have to have two separate signatures. Each signature is about 75 bytes or something like that. And uh, and you, you have to put those on chain as part of the proof that uh, you uh, that the this transaction is legitimate, that it's spending something that it's supposed to. Um, that can get kind of expensive. Like two of three, not too bad, right? It's uh, it's maybe like uh, one more signature than it would be otherwise. It's like, you know, kind of sucky, but not too bad. But once you get into like five of nine territory, oh, that kind of really sucks, right? Like it's five times the number of signatures, nine times the number of public keys, and so on. Uh, what Schnorr does, and Schnorr is really just sort of like a generalization. There, there, there are these things called Bellar and Naven and Music uh, signatures and Music signatures, uh, which are which uh, allows for sort of improvements on Schnorr, which is what uh, the core devs are really looking at. Um, the first one is aggregation of signatures. So Bellar and Naven is this uh, particular algorithm that lets you aggregate signatures. So instead of having uh, five signatures, uh, you have one signatures and you can prove that all of them are, uh, you know, all of the five pub keys actually signed it, which is really, really nice. Um, and that's, uh, you know, that, that saves a lot of space, uh, transmission, bandwidth, uh, you know, CPU time even. Um, so it, it makes it a lot easier. Uh, what Music does, and this is, uh, I think, uh, in a paper released earlier this year by Blockstream, is it allows you to also aggregate pub keys. So instead of checking, you know, one of, uh, you know, storing all five public keys on chain, um, you can have a single aggregated pub key. Um, so instead of five times that, you you have a single one, and that that uh, is obviously really really nice because you um, you can compress all of that. And furthermore, uh, that means that it gives you privacy properties uh, because when it's a single pub key and a single signature, there's no way to know that it, if, if it was a single person or 20 people uh, because music exists. Um, there's no way to tell on chain that that's the case. Only the signers uh, of, that, uh, of that particular uh, transaction know that it was actually 20 people. Um, and that allows for all sorts of interesting multi-sigs um, that that you can come up with, and uh, and you know that that's the real sort of benefit out of it. Um, and this this is an active area of research. Uh, there there's a lot of other interesting things that you can do on top, uh, but mainly it's uh, space efficient and it gives you privacy properties. Um, and you know you you you. You can make that as like part of a SegWit version one or something like that as a, a as an upgrade to 
uh, Bitcoin itself. Anyway, hope that helps you. Uh, let me know if that was confusing or not, or if it helped or not uh, in the comments. Uh, this song is done.